The suspect in a deadly hit and run on the belt line appeared in court for the first time. Jules Hogna Tomlin is charged in the death of 23 year old Jataja Graham. Madison police say Graham was walking on the eastbound belt line near Fish Hatchery Road when Tagna Tommen crashed into her. She died on that scene and Tagna Tommen was booked in the jail Friday night. Rachel Perry has been following the case and she is live from the courthouse with where investigators say he was the whole time. Yeah, for nearly a week, both state and federal agencies were searching for Tugna Tumman after an arrest warrant was issued. The belief was that he may have left the area, but on Friday night, Madison police say he surrendered. Madison police claim Tugna Tumman was the driver of the SUV that hit and killed Graham. Witnesses report seeing Graham walking in the road the night of the crash and two other women trying to slow traffic when she was hit by an SUV. Another witness reported seeing the SUV quickly enter the flex lane and drive away. Police say surveillance footage shows Tugna Tumman return to his apartment complex, get out of the car and look at the damage, all while he appears to be on the phone. I'm told he left Madison and went to the state of Oregon before returning to surrender to police while the state asked for $500,000 cash bond, saying he's a flight risk and often travels to Africa. His defense argued that was much too high. He came back. He didn't have to do that. He could have waited till he got picked up on a warrant. He could have hid wherever to try to hide out. He stood up, walked into this jail and said, here I am. You're looking for me. There's a warrant for my arrest. The court commissioner decided on a $10,000 cash bond, ordering him to not leave Dane County, to wear an ankle monitor, surrender his passport, and not drive a motor vehicle. Now, if convicted, Tugna Tumman could face up to 25 years in prison and $100,000 in fines. Live from the Dane County Courthouse, Rachel Perry, 27 News.